Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be a collective, of course. So we're gonna see what's going on with the collective. We have Black Magic, Divine Feminine, all right? So someone's doing Black Magic or Divine Feminine, all right? Because this isn't a Divine Feminine doing Black Magic because a Divine Feminine would know better than that. So, yeah, okay. Welcome. Thank you guys for your support and love. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Remain ten toes. And truly yourself, baby. I think I got to get the reverse. All right. Let's get it. The messages for the collective, please. Thank you, spirit guides and angels for the messages for the light. We have Ace of Fire. So there's something new that's going on here, something that you can be very passionate about. This is something with great, this is someone with great talent, okay? This could involve travel as well, but there's some kind of growth or there's some kind of action being taken here. Okay, I feel like you're accepting some type of challenge. This could be something to actually do with fire, but this is something, a new passion. Very, you're very creative about this. This is really good news that's coming in. So I feel like you're beginning something new, a project. So this could possibly be... Um, we have tarot reader and uh, Scorpio. Okay, so... Yeah, you could be, yeah, you could definitely be a tarot reader. Sorry about that. Okay, I just got, I just saw something on my phone. But anyways, we have tarot reader here. Okay, yeah, you're consulting a tarot reader. So you can be starting a new passion. Maybe you're a reader. You're starting, um, you're starting up, you're starting to be a reader. You're studying it. You want to read tarot. Okay, we have Scorpio behind that. So it could be a Scorpio. Okay, or Scorpio is attracted to you because you read tarot yeah we have you see how pretty the empress is sitting there something about the empress card yeah do you see how the, the high priestess is right there so somebody's really on you with this i feel like you could have a, a newfound passion for tarot reading as well maybe you want to get into pendulums you want to get into um yeah confirmation um ruins or whatever they're called i'm sorry or um you want to you just want to maybe you want to scry or you want to do tea leaves or you want to do just you want to expand on what you already know yeah i'm getting like phoenix rising so yeah there's a rebirth or a renewal or a change that you're making and something that you already do there's a new found passion or creative spark for this i feel like you have a lot of talent something can really grow all right, so this could be something you're 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 beginning, um, something new you're doing. So they just stay on course here. Yeah, um, there's definitely a transfer. Yeah, Phoenix Rising. Yeah, right there. That I saw the uh, bird here. Yeah, and we have spiritual development. Wow. So you're very spiritual, very much tapping into your spiritual side. Okay, I feel like this is the path that you're supposed to be on. This is what you're supposed to be doing here. We have Divine Masculine, Letting Go, and Empire. Wow. So Ace of Fire. So this is a Divine Masculine that has this passion for you. Someone's very attracted to you. Okay? Or this is you. Yeah, somebody is fine. I feel like it's like a... With the, with the Scorpio, could be a Scorpio. That is just like too fine. Okay? Yeah, very, very strong. Somebody's a leader, very logical, rational. Okay, this is divine masculine here. So this could be a Scorpio or Aries, all right? It says wise, loyal, their yang, action, structure, energetic, adventurous, and honest. Yeah, there, there's like somebody, damn, they fine. I mean, look at them. It's like, okay. <laughs> We have tarot reader. Yeah, you're a tarot reader or someone's getting a reading or something about the Empress. Yeah, and the temperance sticking out. This beautiful energy about someone is very attracted to you. Okay. Let's see what this is. What's the Ace of Wands and, Wands and Divine Masculine? Yeah, Capricorn and Aquarius when I open the deck. Yeah, what is this? 
Ace of Fire and Divine Masculine. What is this? Yeah, we have we have Shadow. All right. We have the Tower and then the Capricorn card and 3D want to show up. This is a Capricorn or a Scorpio Aries. Someone is very much in their their in a lower energy. I feel like they, there's a there's very much like a controlling type. Okay, yeah, Scorpio energy here, real heavy with the Tower and we saw the Scorpio card. It could be an Aquarius too or a Capricorn or somebody with these placements, okay? Or a Taurus. We have dark side to unhealthy ego here. If somebody's greedy. They're very selfish. They're all about themselves. Somebody could like to wear shades, so that could be significant here. Somebody really likes wearing shades, all right? Somebody's very prideful. They're overindulgent. They're, they, they could be very negative, impulsive. They crave control and power. Like somebody has a lot of insecurities, and they just, they crave it. They they constantly need validation. So even though somebody comes off like fine as hell on the outside, suave, and uh, a smooth criminal, I, I feel like it's void of smooth. Giving more criminal. Okay, we got Tower. All right, yeah. A Scorpio or a Capricorn or somebody with these placements or a Taurus. The King of Pentacles and the Energy Vampire. Yeah, somebody's an energy vampire. Somebody's all about money, themselves, greed, lower energy, sex. Um, they're very rageful and envy. They want control by any means. Yeah. Okay, somebody's very destructive. If they don't get control or if they don't have or some shit like that, they'll like bring the whole shit down. This could be a Scorpio. Yeah, floodgates. We have destruction here. Somebody has very destructive tendencies. We have a revelation in trauma, disaster, loss, upheaval, shock, abuse, divorce, pain, chaos, natural disasters, quicksand, and bankrupt. I feel like that's happening. All of that is happening to somebody at once. So this could be a big federal building, corporation, entity, or something here. Somebody has a dark side. I feel like it's a corporation, entity, or a marriage that is just completely ego-driven, money-driven, um, greed. It, it, something is coming down. Just period. Yeah, floodgates keep opening up. Something, something in the Ace of Cups. So this could be, I don't know. Yeah, we have the Lovers. Wow. But we have Crown in the reverse. Conflict, illness, isolation. We'll see if it comes out in the reverse. I'll put it up right. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay, so that could be could have been an omen, but we'll see. Yeah, something is destructing or something is falling apart. Somebody, somebody's fucked up here. They have a huge fucking ego. Somebody's going bankrupt here as well. They're going through a divorce. Someone's gonna realize that maybe somebody set their ass up, or um, there's there, there's something coming down. Something has been been being investigated here, or looked at, or or something for a long time. I also feel like somebody's a PI or a stalker. They've been stalking you. Okay, let's see. Yeah, sex addictions. All right, it's time to root yourself or ground your motherfuckers. Yeah, sex addiction again and poverty. Somebody definitely is in poverty because it wanted to come out before you. Yeah, I feel like there's a divine masculine who's going through a real ego death here, man. Okay, very envious, very rageful. Something has been destructed or bought down. Something has, oh my God. I feel like that's kind of what somebody said. Yeah, Aries. This is a, hairy, a heavy Aries or a Scorpio. Heavy. Okay, a very divine mass. Yeah, divine mass, a very, a very dominant energy. Okay, let's, what's the shadow and tower? Yeah, moon. Okay, it want to fall out, see? It could be a cancer here. Yeah, if there's something dark or something going on under the surface or something going on behind the moon or the moon is going to appear a, a lot closer to you, you know, 928 could be significant. The moon is going to appear to be a lot closer to you than it actually is. For a lot of you, you're going to look up in the sky and see the moon and you're going to say, wow, it looks like it's just right here in my fucking face. 
Okay, that could be a sign, yeah, Aries and Scorpio. I told you it's an Aries or a Scorpio here. Really going through something here. Really a lot of emotions, a lot of dreams, a lot of shit coming up to the surface because somebody has taken this loss, this divorce, this bankrupt, this, this, this disaster. There's been some kind of destruction, revelation here, loss, upheaval in a situation. Yeah. Somebody's doing something. Yeah, somebody is like evil here. All right, let's see, man. Because I feel like somebody's doing something behind the fucking scenes. All right? Very grimy, very slick-like. but Or they think they slick. They, they're a rat. Okay? Ain't nothing slick about it. Somebody's doing something behind the scenes to disrupt, disrupt, dis destroy, or tear down something that you have built or something creative you're doing or whatever because they're a fucking loser. Somebody's a loser. It could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, but we have heavy Scorpio and Aries here. Or it could be any sign carrying this energy. It's a Cancer here as well. Let's see what this is with the moon, the shadow self, and the tower. Somebody's very much in their ego here. Yeah, moving. All right. So somebody could be relocating here, moving forward. You're relocating. You're moving. Somebody could be doing this in secret. I feel like somebody could be, um, I don't know. It's, it's a, but it says a new home, a new car job, relocating, new beginning, new chapters, security, stability, travel, fresh start, embracing change, and happy. So you, something completely got destructed, but you're moving, you're moving into a new home, you're relocating, yeah. Or this is a decision that you're, you're, you're needing to make. Yeah, cancer, it could be a cancer. Yeah, something's completely falling apart. Yeah, let, letting go. I just feel like you're letting go of the situation. There's nothing that you can do about this. You have to release, surrender, and free yourself of this. You gain the clarity. You have to move or something's going bankrupt or someone's going into foreclosure or whatever this is. Something is over. What's the Ace of Wands over here? We have empire in reverse. God damn. Ask for help, stagnant, money issues, lack, growth, crumble, wrong partner, uh, bankruptcy tower, and too much. Yeah, there's the bankruptcy tower again. And here it is. Somebody's definitely going bankrupt, a tower, a divorce. The complete breakdown of an empire, a home, this big, beautiful mansion, home, everything. Somebody is over. But I feel like you're getting, you're moving or you're getting a new place. You could be moving at night. All right. But, but this is over. I just feel like something is destructed here. Yeah. Something that was once very creative and passionate, good news or or, or whatever has fallen completely apart. Because, I mean, Empire in Reverse is clarified. We have Healer and King of Fire, which is King of Wands with the Guardian Angel. Yeah, we, we, we need to see. Yes, yeah, emotionally centered, creative, Ace of Cups, Libra, and King of Swords. All right, let's see. Carnival Storm and Healer. Empire in Reverse. It's just, yeah, the Nine of Wands and Dark Knight of the Soul. Like, yeah, somebody is really beat up, battered, and bruised here. We have Dark Knight of the Soul and Energy Vampire. This is just really, really fucking dark. I feel like somebody is trying to also destruct your, bring something down. Because we did see black magic when I was shuffling. Somebody is going through like. Nine of Wands, perseverance, guarded, courage, fatigue, drained, pushing forward. Okay. Standing ground. I feel like just somebody is like behind the scenes trying to force you out of a situation. Cause this this is going to backfire here. I feel like somebody been doing work on you a long time, and now their 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 foundation is coming completely down. And somebody is feeling chained or lot or this is what somebody's trying to project on you. Okay. It says, revelation, lack of energy, feel crazy, confused, feel lost or stuck in spare, fear, isolation, painful period for random, intensive memories. 
Somebody's really going through it here. Yeah, energy vampire, manipulative viewer, supply feels entitled, exploit, play victim, gaslight, draining, bad intentions, illusions, not to be trusted. And this is why this person is going through this. Somebody's an energy vampire. I'm actually getting a bite or your fangs, something about your fangs or biting into somebody, blood. Somebody could actually do this to drain your energy or they use blood to drain your energy. Somebody here is trying to really put you in some kind of mental fucked up place. Where you feel drained, beat up, yeah, nah. With letting go, I'm getting it's a hell no. Yeah, it's a hell no. Somebody drains your energy or as long as you're with this person, your empire's falling, you're going bankrupt. There's a lot of lies and shit that's been going, yeah, confirmation. On behind the scenes and people setting motherfuckers up. If you took a huge loss, somebody set your ass up. Is what I'm fucking hearing. Y'all be on some real clown ass hoe shit. I'm not, I'm not even gonna hold you. What the fuck you talking about? On some real life. Don't know how to get you your secrets. Now somebody wants you to shh, don't say that. Don't, you know, bitch, fuck you. We got hidden truth, avoiding deceits, lies, dishonest, betrayals, cheating, wearing a mask, secluded, unveiled, um, confidential, and mystery. Yeah, it's a lot of secrets and shit like here. Somebody, somebody is grinding, man. This is just giving me a very dark and heavy energy. It's a Cancer and a heavy Scorpio. They could be in cahoots together or um, whoever, the, whoever the fuck this is. A Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries. Real heavy here. This energy. Some, somebody's empire is completely crumbling or falling to the fucking ground. And it's due to some negative ass energy that they put in. I'm telling you, this is what it is. I feel like, yeah, yeah, I feel like somebody keeps, d d and, and, like, br trying to bring you down in every fucking way, okay, and, and, like, I feel like somebody, yeah, wants you, that, like, a dead end or block you or some shit, but new love and floodgates, it's coming in, I feel like somebody keeps, there, there, there's somebody that's constantly doing shit to you, man, okay, constantly, I, I'm gonna get a couple more from this one. This just looks like somebody's going through it. Okay, yeah, confirmation. Okay, we have an astral travel in reverse. Fear, doubt, imbalance, anxiety, not being in the present and breathe and it says breathe and stress. Yeah, somebody is trying to stress you or you're or somebody is really stressed here. Yeah, healer and black magic. I'm telling you, somebody's doing black magic on a healer. Somebody's doing black magic on your work or your healing, your reiki, your nurse, your doctor, you're a shaman, you're a healer with your hands. And somebody is like doing work so that that's not possible or like somebody is very fucking evil. I feel like it's a Scorpio. Somebody is distressed. Somebody's jealous. They're beat up. They're battered. They're abused. They went through bankrupts or a loss or um, something um, happened here. And they're, they're, they're like they're, they're trying to drain you or cause you to be homeless or have to move or they're trying to push you out of something. Yeah, black magic and healer. Yeah. Okay. We have the sun card, soul tribe, and healer. I feel like somebody keeps trying to place a curse on you or every time you have love, it's destroyed because somebody's doing work or somebody wants you to fall in love repeatedly with people and then they destroy it or um, they want you to um, always feel like beat up, battered, and bruised and you're not. You're, you're beautiful. The king of cups. Emotional, mature, yeah, the king of cups is here. Okay, healer and black man. Somebody's just jealous. This, this, this arrogant, egotistical loser that just sees life as a fucking loser so they attack and do shit to other people but you're gonna pay for that okay this is too many so we got somebody very diplomatic here very sweet and compassionate very logical okay very tolerant this king of cups very sexy what's the king of cups and with divine masculine this is somebody that okay the King of Cups, we have crown. We have spiritual connection, transformation, wisdom, peace, connected to source, awake, universal consciousness, enlightenment, and present. I feel like, yeah, 3D, karmic partner. Yeah, somebody's stuck with a karmic partner and a whole bunch of bullshit going on. We have garden angel, throat, and soulmate, communication. Yeah, so you have a spiritual connection with this King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups and Crown? Yeah, this is somebody a part of your soul. 1919. This is somebody a part of your soul tribe. Somebody that is meant to um, 
Yeah, spiritual values and similar spiritual value, values and beliefs understands and resonates with you. Support system on spiritual journey individually and together. Belonging, collaboration, and authenticity. Okay, and we have Aries Scorpio. All right, so this is um a beautiful. It could be. It definitely could be a, a Piscean or a Scorpio. But I feel like this person is on the same. You feel very connected. You both are very much enlightened. Maybe you're, you connect through nature. I'm also going to meet people who are part of your soul tribe. You yeah, have 3D energy and karmic. Somebody just real 3D and evil. It could be a cancer. Yeah, we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Abundance is here, stability and opportunity, a home, a place, a business, a property. This is prosperity, though, and, and um, things coming into fruition, manifestations and, and promotions and things of that nature, okay? We have Scorpio. Yeah, you're very ambitious. You're focused. You're um, you're very mesmerizing, very powerful, very hip hypnotic. You can be very confident and empath, very intuitive. Yes, yeah, spiritual gifts. Yeah, prophecy, vision. Okay, coming to into your this could be a Scorpio coming into their spiritual gifts here. 3D Scorpio, or this could be this 3D ass Scorpio with the shadow self doing all this evil shit. Yeah, property options of Scorpio. This somebody could be in property, or somebody's trying to put you in that, or you're doing this. Yeah, we have Virgo. Okay, um, analytical, creative, and helpful. Yeah, um, and um, black magic. Yeah, it's a Virgo doing black magic, or someone's doing black magic on a Virgo. Yeah, karmic storm. Okay. Yeah, it says when it rains, it pours karmic debt, cycles of cause and effect, pay the piper, guidance, silent reap what you sow. And we have black magic, wishing ill and titches, envy, evil, eye, bitter, casting spells, a hater, jealousy, wishing harm, watching, light irritates demons. So somebody's going to be brought down to their fucking knees for what they're doing here. Ace of Pentacles in the Virgo, analytical, responsible, faithful, hard worker, critical thinker, patience, and intelligence. Because I feel like all you're doing is working, living your life. You're, you're connected to the source. You're enlightened. You're present. You're awakened. You're, you're, you're at peace. You're transforming. You're changing. Maybe you're meeting people of your soul tribe. You have a support system here. You're on a spiritual journey. You're, 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 either, you're, you're, you're either on this journey with others or alone, it says. But either way, I feel like there is collaborations or there is somebody that loves you, that, that, that's connected to the source, that sees things the same way you do. There's an opportunity that you're getting here. Or somebody wants to present to you. Yeah, side piece. And new love. Yeah, somebody's on some hateful shit. Just period. Yeah, it could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Or somebody with these places that's highly aspected doing this work. I just feel like you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, and somebody's mad at it. Because I feel like somebody started something up and then it failed or it didn't work or something is falling apart here. And like something, it, it was this passion and it, this excitement and something kind of took off or whatever and then it fell apart. Or some or, or somebody had this idea and then something happened or whatever. Guardian Angel with Akashic Records. Okay, yeah, Karmic Storm. See, Karmic Storm and Karmic Partner. All right, so this could be a karmic doing this but i feel this male is walking away they have their bags are packed they're gone toxic obsessive envy manipulation and stuck seduced and temptation stalker mind games no love codependent illusions and uses sex it's a pisces but i feel like yeah something is just real i feel like somebody okay what's the virgo soul tribe ace of pentacles Solitude and guardian angel. What is this that's wanting to pop out? We have Pisces. Okay, so we could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with Pisces and Virgo's placements. This is somebody a part of your soul tribe. Creative, empathic, and generous. Okay, mysterious. Uh, yeah, mysterious and intuitive. Determination, sensitive, romantic, hypnotizing, self confidence, and compassion. Yeah, guardian angel. I feel like this Pisces Virgo is your guardian angel. This person is a part of your soul tribe. You're connected in some way here. Okay, we have Neptune Pisces again. Wow. Okay, somebody could very, very much be a psychic or very intuitive. Yeah, we have dreams, instincts, psychic abilities, occult, creation, intuitive, spirituality, fantasy, inspiration, and mystical and magical, mystery, and arts. 
somebody is absolutely beautiful here. Somebody has beautiful lashes, but I'm getting very, you're, you're very connected to your dreams. You're very empathic. This person is very connected to you and your emotions and how you feel at times as well. Yes, yeah, solitude, connected to nature, recalculating, pause, and peace. I'm getting you very much connecting back to you. It could be a Virgo or a Pisces. Yeah, we have the Ace of Swords and Soulmate. So I feel like you're connecting with or you have you get you got this good news or you have this clarity about a soulmate or this person or why they're why they're in your life or why they're a part of your soul tribe. But somebody does love you with the King of Cups. I feel like it's, a, it's definitely a water sign of Pisces. We have Leo, yeah, vivacious and theoretical. I mean, vivacious and theatrical, okay, warm and passionate, loyal, affectionate, ambitious, dignified, stability, consistency, expressive, and fearless. We have Libra. All right, I'm going to start pulling from the other deck. Yeah. Yeah, diplomatic, modest, clever, graceful, devoted, affectionate, good listener, social intelligence, artistic, free spirit, and kind. Okay, so that's what we're getting here. Let's, uh, let's see. Get some messages from this one. Yeah, this is real dark. What somebody's doing here? Real, real dark. Clarify what this, what this dark ass shit is up here. But clarify, yeah, I feel like somebody wants you. Or clarify, yeah, the Emperor Two of Wands. I saw the Ace of Wands. Like somebody's choosing you, or this boss, this Emperor. Okay. Yeah, two of wands, ace of wands. You're being chosen or selected for something. This boss, this Aries, the head honcho, the CEO is like uh wanting you for something here. Or this is you. I'm gonna get my karma deck too because I feel like I need to pull for my karma deck. If y'all watched my live last night, then y'all know I just made that deck. But because of all of this shit up here. I feel like somebody is like they fuck with you here or something like that. Yeah, we got the nine of wands and the five of wands. Yeah, nine of wands, a lot of hostility or a lot of black people, a lot of angry motherfuckers or a lot. This is Sagittarius or Leo. Somebody is like petty. They want to compete. Somebody, they don't want to give up the fight. They want to continue to fight or they want to continue to war or they want to continue to be petty. I'm not really sure why. Yeah, the three of cups, the justice and the eight of wands. Yeah, the five of pentacles, somebody's just petty or somebody's in property or somebody's suffering or losing everything or lost everything, their home. Somebody could be homeless or this is what someone's trying to do, get you cause some kind of storm or trauma or loss in your life. I'm, I'm not sure why this person is doing this, dog. Like, why? Why are you obsessed in a sick fuck like you are? Somebody's disgusting, vile, and low, man. Like, this is the lowest that low can go. This is disgusting. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles showing up twice, but you're going to get an opportunity. I'm getting two new things, new car, new home, everything. What is the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, a lot of discrimination, a lot of hate, or somebody is just very, very agitated. Somebody wants you to be angry, upset, offended, or aggressive. I'm not really sure why. Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands, or this is how somebody is feeling. Somebody took a huge loss, they're bankrupt, or they're suffering. But I feel like it's their, yeah, the King of Pentacles reverse. Oh my gosh. I feel like somebody, yeah, the Two of Pentacles, something so is hard. Somebody wants you to be completely in debt, or somebody is, is, is yeah, the Devil, Two of Cups, somebody, is, I mean, Two of Pentacles. Somebody's obsessed. It's a Capricorn, heavy Scorpio, Aries energy. That is like competing with you, this nonstop. They want to fight or argue. Somebody is out in the cold. Maybe somebody's sick. They're struggling. They're in poverty. They're not doing very well. I feel like somebody's beat up, battered, and bruised. And they're trying to cause chaos. Somebody's doing a lot of projection and hate on you. Somebody wants you to feel stuck or stagnant or trapped or in fear. Somebody's disgusting. Okay, real shit. The devil and the two of pentacles. This is obsessive. This is daily. Somebody's obsessed with you. And it is especially your finances. Or maybe somebody took a huge loss here. I feel like it's somebody's karma. I'm going to go get my karma deck. Yeah, the three of swords in the reverse. I feel like you're not heartbroken. You're not sad. You're not crying. You're not anything. You have the, strong, the strength card and the world card. You have too much experience or you're strong. And the star card or you keep healing and restoring. I feel like somebody's angry, upset, or agitated, or frustrated, and pissed. Because they want to see you brought down, but you're you're still shiny, or you're still beautiful, or you're still intelligent, or you're still whatever. Okay, what is the black magic right here? 
black magic? What is the black magic? The sun. And there's the solution. It could be a Leo and the will of fortune. I feel like all of a sudden, sudden something shifts in your favor. You are happy. You are. You find some kind of loophole or you're free or you are happy or the sun is shining upon you or something just completely shifts. So if you were in this energy, maybe you're, something is healing or changing. Yeah, the king of cups. There's that king of cups again. Okay, yeah, and there's that Leo again. So somebody could have um, significant Pisces or Virgo Leo placements here. The King of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, something works out for you or you're working. Yeah, you feel free, the Fool card. So somebody's doing black magic on your life, your, your life force, your, your energy, your happiness. But I feel like the tables keep turning or something is shifting in your favor. Yeah, the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Something's going to work out with a home situation or, or something like that. Because this is just fucked up. What's the sign in the Wheel of Fortune? Y'all do some hateful ass grimy shit, dog. Low. I'm getting your beautiful, your glowing, your eyes, your skin. You're just beautiful. Okay, keep staying being that. Somebody's mad about it. All right, what is this? The Page of Wands. Yeah, getting good news in the Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay, so Six of Cups in the Empress with the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. You're going to be successful or you're sitting pretty or you're, you're, you're going to keep living your life. You're getting support. You're pulling these two sixes right here. So you definitely have the higher ups and protection from the higher. I feel like it's a Libra, Leo, Virgo type energy. Somebody's doing some dark ass shit. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from something. Yeah, just period. The moon, the seven of cups, the confusion, the secrets, the illusions. I feel like somebody projects a lot of fear, anxiety. I mean, I mean somebody's obsessed with you. This is disgusting and vile, man. Like to the, the, the lowest of the fucking low. But with the sun, I feel like somebody's black magic. You're still radiant, youthful, beautiful. You're getting good news that really puts a smile on your face. What's the page of wands and the nine of cups? Yeah, the high damn it flipped over from the bottom. Yeah, the high priestess. Okay, could be a, a, a heavy Pisces is here. This message is good news. Something turns around or shifts. There, there's something that it's just it's beautiful. I'm also getting beautiful weather. Okay, yeah, we have the three of cups of the justice. You're celebrating. Justice is here. It could be a Pisces, Libra, or a Leo. We have Virgo here as well. Okay, any sign. Yeah, an opportunity is here for you. Really good news, yeah. You're in, yeah. The Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. I see you're happy. The, the initials BJ could be significant, or you're getting good news about the secret or something. Something here about a Pisces. Something is shifting, or you're happy. Okay, so celebrate that. What's this up here? Tell me more about what's going on. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Where I feel like somebody's in their shadow self, their ego. Somebody took a huge loss. What's the King of Pentacles reverse? Their empire is falling. Something is completely destructing. Yeah, the the the, the higher fine in the reverse. A corporation, an entity, an institution, a marriage. It's over. It's falling apart. Completely falling apart. I feel like somebody like. There, there, there's just so much animosity and anger, anger, arguments and fights. Like two people just do not get along. You have a high font reverse, the four of wands and the seven of cups. This is disloyalty. This is no devotion, no commitment to something. Something is just completely destructive. We have empire in reverse with the with the fucking tower twice and the motherfucking higher font in reverse. Something is, yeah, the five of swords reverse and the four of cups. I just feel like you don't care to be played. Yeah, the tower. And the eight of swords. I feel like something is crumbling. The eight of swords, the tower, eight of swords, and the eight of cups. Because I feel like something is just not, whatever somebody's doing to you, it's just not going to, it just can't go like that or something. Yeah, the eight of pentacles. This could be something about your work. Okay, the ten of, yeah, I saw the five of cups as well. Yeah, it's something you're good or you're doing, you're very, you're very analytical, you're smart, you're very talented. We have Virgo here. Yeah, your work, your yeah, you could be an artist, you're very, you're very uh, responsible and faithful, a thinker, you're patient, intelligent. Very, very ambitious and beautiful here, okay? 
Yeah, something about your work or you being on, yeah, the Ten of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody may have looked at, yeah, the Hermit and the Five of Cups. Somebody may have looked at their actions. Somebody may be looking at themselves, taking a deeper look at themselves. They, somebody may want forgiveness or they may want to apologize here. Somebody may want to say, I've looked at myself, I'm sorry, like, okay, or something like that. What's the Knight of Cups? Ooh. Yeah, the Four of Swords. I feel like a, a literally a peace offering or a peace of mind or you are somebody's peace of mind. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, now the Nine of Swords. So you go from a peace of mind to worried. The Nine of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Swords reverse. I feel like somebody is like worried that you're at peace. You've made peace. You're over the heartache. You're moving on. You have somebody new or... Um, yeah, the Emperor, the Two of Wands. Yeah, you got... Yeah, look at this energy. The, the, this Aries is like choosing you. Yeah, the Three of Swords reverse. I feel like you've you've healed or you've got over... Someone's, someone wants to apologize, but I feel like you've already walked away. You've healed. You've gotten over something. You're being selected or being given something by this Aries, this boss. The same energy keeps coming out. This is a boss. You have the Six of Pentacles. And we have Libra as your overall energy. So being supported here. Let's see... Let's see here. This is, I feel like someone's selecting you for something here. They want you to have this or, yeah, the, even how the Two of Wands is sitting here. Somebody just feels like you're a really good choice or you make really good decisions. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. You could do something on stage or something about work. You could be very skilled, a master at what you do. Yeah, the Ten of Cups, that showed up in the other deck too. So I'm getting you're very happy here or pleased. Really good news here. An offer, an opportunity. Yeah, the high priestess again. A Pisces. I'm getting two. This could be two um, two readers. Yeah, the ace of swords. An opportunity, an application. This could be two people you're doing this with. You're like, or, or you're working with. Yeah, the three of pentacles, ace of swords, the tower. There's this there, there's this idea or breakthrough about a collaboration or, 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 or some shit like that. Something is mind blowing. The Seven of Cups, I'm in the Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Judgment. Yeah, I'm just getting this energy of being chosen because of your work skill. You're a master. I'm getting both of you. I'm getting two people being selected here to do something together. Okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. There's that hostile energy again. I feel like somebody's mad because you walked away from something, you moved on. Yeah, the chariot. I feel like somebody never thought that you would. Or, yeah, the ace of wands, you moved on. From the irritation, the frustration, you have a new spark and passion for something. You're moving the fuck forward. Yeah, page of wands. I'm also getting somebody very attractive. Who is this emperor, two of wands? And, yeah, like, yeah, the nine of swords and the five of pentacles and the five of wands. Now somebody regrets being hostile or petty with you or out in the cold because now you're getting an opportunity from somebody else. Now they hate treating that they treated you this way or was petty or yeah, this could have already happened in the past. The two of cups, the nine of pentacles, will of fortune. Now somebody seeing you with new eyes or in a different way. What's the emperor, the two of wands, and the ace of wands? Emperor, two of wands, and the ace of wands. I feel like, I feel like a boss is here. Yeah, the seven of swords and the death card. So I feel like somebody there's there's what's the seven of swords in the death? The Ten of Wands and the Seven of Wands. There's that energy again. Somebody doing things behind the scenes to hold you back, to trap you, to sabotage your shit. This is people in your family as well. Like, like, like everything. Like somebody is here waiting to sabotage, beating up, bat yeah, waiting to attack you. The Knight of Swords, waiting. Anything you try to do, somebody's hateful as fuck. Somebody is hateful. Yeah, the Four of Wands. This could be somebody that lives around you or you live with, you're in a home with. The Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. What's the Four of Wands? I f the Temperance. I also feel like your home is protected. You are protected. A lot of hostility uh, uh, and shit here. Okay? The Nine of Cups, period. And the Six of Swords. Pay. Someone could be following you. Literally a private investigator or a PI. Someone's following you. The police. Fucking with you. People are going to pay. I feel like a whole pe bunch of people are going to be humiliated. They're going to lose their job. Everything. Every fucking thing. 
you're not doing. What's the temperance in the nine of cups? I feel like a nine of pentacles energy. Somebody feels like you, you have a lot of protection, man. You have a lot of it. Yeah, the four of cups. You have nothing to worry about here in the world card. Yes, yeah, over. The seven of wands and the moon. All right, that, that's protection. Let's see what this is. I feel like somebody's trying to come in and swipe and take away something from... What's the Seven of Swords and the Death? It's this fucking retarded-ass Scorpio. Evil bitch. Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, and the Justice, bitch. And the Tower. That's why somebody's going through a Tower. Because I feel like somebody tried to trap you or set, set you up. Trick you or do some shit to you. Or they're constantly doing this. Constantly trying to take something. Yeah, the Seven of Swords take something from you. Falsified lie. This could be in court or documents, papers or whatever. But then they're nervous or scared. What's the Nine of Swords? What is the Nine of Swords? Bitch, you're going to pay for it. Yeah, star because you keep healing or you keep getting miracles or, or, or shit keeps happening. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Something is going to be restored, the Six of Wands, in your life, your success or what, your money or whatever this is. The Ace of Wands, so, something you're getting or doing. You have keep doing it. Somebody's evil. Somebody is fucking evil, dog. You have the five of pentacles and the uh, uh, queen of pentacles five because somebody lost the earth sign or they're broke or they got left or, or divorced or somebody or somebody's somebody's mad. You're shining. You're popular. Somebody's mad about it. So they, they want to. Yeah, somebody's penny pitching or somebody wants to keep you in a place where you're penny pitching. You're struggling. Yeah, a lot of petty shit going on. Okay, but I feel like nah, it's yeah, it's like this is every day constantly. But you're going to get what you deserve. What's the page of wands, sun, and the will of fortune? The universe is here to let you know you're going to get what you, what you fucking deserve. There it is, the temperance. Again, divine intervention. You are the temperance. You are beautiful. Okay, you have the chariot, two of wands. Keep making good choices. I feel like that's the thing. You're making good choices. The six of swords, your gods are here. Wherever, whatever you're, wherever you're deciding to locate to is a very good choice as well. Yeah, the four of wands. You're going to have a lot of protection. Your home is protected. A lot of good favor and luck. Just keep moving forward. The universe has you here. Somebody that's why somebody's losing everything or they lost everything or they or there's a death or whatever. Because somebody's evil as fuck. They're wicked to their fucking core. The fool card here, okay, and disgusting. What is the messages here? What's the karma for this person? What's the karma for this person? What's the karma for this person and this evil and these constant attacks and, and evil shit this person keeps doing because they're losing, because they're going through it or whatever the fuck and you did nothing but kind to the raggedy motherfucking ass? What's the temperance? What's the temperance? Yeah, the hermit. I feel like you have a lot of ghosts. You, the judgment, the higher ups, you have everybody around you. What's the page of wands, the sun, and the temperance? Yeah, the ten of pentacles. Okay, there's money coming in here. You have the world and the eight of wands and the six of swords and the nine of pentacles. The judgment and the ten of wands. Yeah, somebody's on, under heavy judgment here. Yeah, the, the seven of swords, the two of Yeah, someone's trying to, what's the judgment, ten of wands? The magician. Somebody is trying to, and the empress. Yeah, they're watching and stalking you heavily. And, and somebody does this work on you. What's the Empress? The Two of Cups. And the Fool. Yeah, the Lovers. Okay, wow. So you could be falling in love or someone's falling in love with you. Yeah, the Six of Cups and the Star. This could be somebody from the past. Or something's healing or being restored or something like that. But I feel like some, some oh, judgment, ten of wands, this is looking, yeah, somebody's trying to, yeah, somebody's under heavy judgment. I mean, heavy. What's the judgment in the ten of wands for what they're trying to do to you? Yeah, the knight of pentacles. Somebody's trying to force something or slow something, something about your calling. So you have the five of cups. Or somebody's under heavy judgment about being indifferent or, or how they treated you or something like that yeah we have yeah it's this same energy something's over with the queen of pentacles it's been coming out heavy here five of cups the tower the eight of swords what's the five of cups in the queen of pentacles the three of pentacles 
We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Wands and the Devil card. I just feel like something is backfiring. Yes, yeah, so, okay. What's their karma? Something's gonna be restored in your life. Somebody, they just, they're, they're a fucking loser. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting like the, with, with the, um, justice not coming out and the empress. I feel like somebody doesn't want you to feel like the justice or the empress or the temperance. Somebody wants you to be angry, mad, agitated, a mad black man or woman or whatever so that it can attack you so people will hate you or whatever. We have the seven of wands here. You're, you're protected as your overall energy. You could be a Leo. You're, you're, you are the seven of wands in the deck. You have natural protection if you're a Leo, sun, moon, or rising. Also, you rule the will so it's hard to do work on a fucking Leo. It's, it's impossible damn near dementia early age so someone's going to suffer from dementia at, a, at an early age we have um we have animal dies okay so somebody could lose an animal here yeah fall from grace we have betrayed by own spouse or partner i'm telling you your own spouse partner set you up or 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 something like that we have um, a car accident and we have bad health. This is someone's karma. What is their karma for these constant attacks and sacrifices and evil and projection? Okay, yeah, we have disrespectful, rebellious children. Okay. We have divorce. We already seen that. Yep, breakup after breakup. Yep. So somebody's going to go through a series of breakups, divorce. I feel like this is like, hum somebody is like humiliated here. You have that balding, thinning hair. So that goes with the aging badly. This is their karma for what they continue to do to you. We have law or lose a child. Damn. An overdose. You, you, what? Overdose. Or you, okay, overdose, you or a loved one. Sorry, I wrote loved one too close together. Okay, yeah, and infertile, yeah. So this is, so with child and, and then overdose, so there could be a child that has an overdose here. You or a loved one or a child. Infertile, it gets, it gets crazy out here when you keep trying to interfere with the divine or you keep trying to force someone off their, their north node or their path. Yeah, all spiritual powers revoked. So someone's gonna not they're gonna be able to manifest in major debt. Yeah, that that's the that's the bankrupt that kept coming out in the tower. Yeah, lose home definitely, definitely. Yeah, loss of empire. Damn, this shit is adding up. And I just made these cards. It said that right there too. Yeah, it and can't get hired, can't get a job or or position. Yeah, poverty for seven year cycle. Somebody's gonna have to suffer here. Because somebody refuses to, to leave somebody the fuck alone. Somebody doesn't want you to be the empress or the justice. And you are that. And you wake up every day feeling that. Here's the empress. But that car wasn't even trying to come out. You will always get justice. Somebody wants you to feel you won't. You are. You're already getting it. They're already suffering. Going through it. You have not done anything to these people. You've been diplomatic. You keep working. You keep being focused. You keep staying true. And constantly you will fucking attack. And, 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 and made and by these occults and governments and these entities that sit behind the fucking scenes and stalk you and watch your home and do spell work on your life to keep you in a place of sadness and brokenness and you've done fucking nothing and, and even so far as to hacking you your emails keep trying to keep you from moving forward or getting any money so you're out on the street with your fucking child live, living a fucked up way and suffering all for what you've done absolutely nothing but live your life and be a star and shine and heal and do something that they fucking can't do bitch and they, and they and they try to see you in this i swear to god on everything i ever loved these motherfuckers will rot from the inside out you are so fucking protected and this is not fucking okay what the fuck is going on you evil hateful bitches you go through your divorces you use you betrayed by your spouses then you go beat up on other people whether it's physically spiritually emotionally because you're beat up battered and broken the fuck down and you get great, great joy out of bringing others down. No, fuck you and rotting your shit, bitch. That's what the fuck it's going to be. 
I don't give a fuck. You're fucking with karma and justice. It didn't have to come out in this reading because it's been coming out so much. I'm, so, I mean, you, I feel like you're already getting your justice or you already got it. That's why the justice is not showing up like that. You're going to get it or you already got it. Something is shifting and working in your favor. You're going to get good news. Just stay 10 toes down. Know that you are not the fucking problem. Know that this is somebody doing constant work on you to keep you in this lower energy and you are the shit. That's why they have to spend their miserable, sick, dying fucking life attacking you, bitch. Because you are the shit. If you ain't the shit, what the fuck they so obsessed with you for? Somebody wants to paint you out as this bad person and not elegant and graceful and beautiful. I'ma always be that to the day I die. When, when, that, when that sperm hit the egg, I was conceived and came out the fucking empress, bitch. It's in my DNA and everything. I am justice. You fuck with me and you go down and you burn at the stake, motherfucker. Do you understand that? It's not a day I ever don't think that. It's not a day I don't ever feel another way, bitch. It is what the fuck it be. You understand? So you can sit behind the scenes and think you're doing work on me and think you're doing this and think you're doing that. You're not doing a goddamn thing to me. You're not changing me or anything. I'm a graceful, beautiful, loving, forgiving, honest, open person. And I only have to show certain sides of me when motherfuckers is doing wicked. Then when you show that, now they want to paint you to be that. And they completely um, erase the elegant the gracefulness, the beauty, and the compassion you have, and they try to paint you as the angry black person. Fuck y'all rats. Everybody's paying. I can clearly see that. So you want to work diligently every day to make somebody homeless and put them in a state of poverty because it would just get your rock fucking soft, you fucking gay motherfucker, just to see this person suffer? Well, you will suffer worse. And that's just what the fuck it is. Somebody's not doing shit to you, man. You're a fucking loser to your core. And that's why you're losing and bankrupt and losing your home and people are dying and all kinds of shit. Because your ass is evil as fuck to the core. You can't let go. You're obsessed with somebody because they don't want your fucking ass. You want somebody that does not want you. They don't miss you. They don't want you. They don't think about you. They wouldn't give a fuck if your time was up tomorrow, ho. They do not fuck with you. You are a rat. You are evil. You are diabolical. You are low vibe and you are dirty. And, and that in your spirit and, and, and the way you move, motherfucker. Y'all bitches want to live evil all your life. You don't go get help to heal, to move forward. You stay stuck in this dirty, filthy, nasty energy. And you attack the motherfuckers who all they want to do is love you. And then you so low vibrational, you allow these evil motherfuckers out here to do work, to, 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 to fuck your shit up, to come in and do work and fuck you up with people. Because you're so low vibrational. When you vibrate high, you can repel that shit. Stop giving y'all energy to these lower energies. It's okay to fall in love and you know it and, and, and show that love and be that. But once somebody show you who they are, believe them. But believe them with peace and love. Forgive. Forgive. Heal. Motherfuckers want you to be angry and upset and jaded and beat up like them. Then you aging and looking sick. See, the aging card came out of my karma deck. Aging bad and balding. Then you balding, losing your hair, aging bad because you holding on to the sick, twisted shit. You are favored, covered, and beautiful. And the only reason why things go a different way is because somebody's doing things behind the scenes and spell work to, to have it that way because you are chosen, covered, and favored. Somebody's a fucking clown. You, nobody's ever going to change how I feel, bitch. Anything I have to suffer from, you will suffer 10 million times over, bitch. That, that I'm fully aware of that. So, you, so fuck you. Keep going, everybody. Keep fighting. Keep working. Keep putting somebody here sees you and somebody here is going to give you an opportunity or somebody here wants to protect you or somebody here knows what the fuck you're going through. They know what they're doing. And, some, and whoever this is doing all this shit to you will refuse to pay you, refuse to give you your money or, um, or trying to force you out of something. We don't want you here because you're beautiful. You're black. You're, you're, you're the shit. And we just can't stand it because we're fucking rats, losers, pale bitches and unhappy, miserable hoes. And we're, and, and we're just fucking losers so we, we're gonna we, we have the power as far as you're here to destroy you or keep you this that and so we're gonna do it so fuck you keep doing it but what's all the extra spell work for bitch it ain't enough you stealing money and, and, and clowning doing whole shit you gotta go and do spell work too you're pathetic nigga somebody's over that shit nobody don't give a fuck you've been a rat you've been a rat this is what you do Somebody knows this is what you do. Somebody still is healed. They still forgive you, man. And they pray for you. I still forgive you, hoes. You rats, you evil motherfuckers on this platform and everywhere else. I forgive you with, with all of my heart because forgiveness needed. 
I promise to God you will suffer and pain. You already are. I can move on in peace. I'm going to be favored and covered. It's my destiny and my birth motherfucking right. So you can die literally working on my life and trying to bind and keep me from what's mine. And that's fine. I'm still going to get grace and justice. I am justice three times over, bitch. I will get that hoe. I know I was born to. So you keep working and being tired. I'm going to keep healing and, and, and moving forward and bringing good luck in my life and favor. That's why I be covered and protected and always in the right places at the right time. And protection comes out of nowhere. And I got eyes watching and protecting me. Yeah, you lower energies are watching and doing shit to do evil. But I got higher energies watching to protect me from it. So you can do whatever you feel you got to do. I pray for you and I forgive you. And that's from the bottom of my heart and my soul. Because I'm not going to carry this hate for you on me because that's what you want you want to have control of my life fuck you i forgive you i don't i would never retaliate and go back and do the same shit you do I, i'm a better person I'm, I'm too good for that i'm too good for that and i understand why you hate for i can see both sides i understand but you are not going to destroy me it's just not the fuck gonna happen fuck you and the horse you rode in on bitch y'all can saddle the fuck up and head back motherfucking yonder. Because I'm not going to play with you. I'm going to rebuke it every goddamn time. I have the power. I understand my power. And it is astronomical. So you want to go to war? You go to war with the higher ups. Not with me. I've done nothing to nobody. God knows that. And I'm going to be protected and covered as a result of it. And so are you and everyone else. Your children that are not doing wrong. Do not retaliate. Compassion, love, and forgiveness is so key at this time. Know that somebody's working diligently. Diligently, baby. To make sure that you turn hateful, nasty, evil, wicked. They want you to do not do it. Stay close to you. Do not do it. Everything that you have lost. Everything that somebody has been blocking and taking from you. Everything you will get back 10 million fold. I swear on my goddamn life. Stay diligent. Do not give up and continue to believe in the faith of God. I know it sounds cliche, but believe in the higher of Jesus Christ, God, or whoever you subscribe to. Continue to do that. Do not give up. We are not perfect. But as long as you are close to God and he knows your heart, your soul, your character, he will fight for you to the end. He will bring celestial beings. Your, even your past on loved ones are going to war for you. Somebody's doing everything to diminish your power with your hand. If you're a healer, like I said, somebody is a Scorpio. They may know that you're a healer. They're trying to take those gifts from you. And because somebody's evil there, they took losses or they're evil and hateful and wicked. And they don't understand that they're attacking an earth angel. Somebody is sent to help them and heal them and show them the rats they truly got around them. But that's okay too, though. Keep staying in who you are. Stay whole and stay true. Pray for motherfuckers. People getting karma. You're going to see it firsthand. People's karma. And, and you're going to understand why shit happened the way it did for their ass. Because people wicked. They don't have no good in them. They don't want to go seek help and get healing and be whole so they can really be joyous in their life. They want to stay in 3D. All that negative energy we saw. That's where they want to live and be with rats around and people they married to. Y'all seen in my karma that your spouse is going to betray you. That's been coming out heavy. Or they betrayed you or set you up. This could already happen or they're going to do it. Somebody you're tied to and you can't get enough of and you're bound to. is the same person that can't stand your ass. And would do anything to see you in a fucked up position. And, 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 and keeps using and abusing you because of what you have. Okay. So y'all stay in that energy. I'm moving up and I'm moving forward. I Y'all have forgiveness in my heart. I forgive my enemies. I forgive y'all. You know, I hope you find peace. I hope you find love in your life. I hope you find some kind of healing within you. You will not. I will not be a victim. I am victorious, my nigga. And I pray for you with all my motherfucking heart that you find your way. No, I'm serious. I pray for my fucking enemies. Help them, Jesus. Help them. And they soul help them. Those are your messages, and I hope this helped. Make sure to tap the links in my community tab, okay, so that y'all can get that. I am open for personal readings. If you're looking for that, then make sure to um, email me. I love y'all. Thanks for staying 10 toes down, and I'm going to see you in the next one.